Hi, this is Alex from Synthonotes, and in this video I will show you how to set up Synthonotes for auto-tagging notes. Tagging notes manually can take a lot of time. To solve this problem we created rules. Rules allow you to automatically tag notes and move them between sections. They are notebook specific, so each notebook has its own set of rules. Let's say you want Synthonotes to auto-tag notes clipped from certain websites. For example, your favorite blog. Go to the File Rules menu and click on the plus icon. This will display the Edit Rule window where you configure your rule. You can start by naming it. This is not required, as Synthonotes will automatically name the rule based on its settings. But it's a good habit, later it will be easier for you to understand what the rule does. Then you need to set the condition that will activate your rule. Select Link starts with from the drop-down list in the if section. There's also a text box on the right. This is where you enter the link to the website from where you are going to clip your notes. On the right side, under Then, you select what happens when the rules condition is fulfilled. Here you can see all available options. You can add or remove text to notes and move notes between sections. In this example I'm going to stick with Add Tags. Simply type in one or more tags in the field on the right. Before you apply the rule, I'd recommend to test it, to see how many times it will be executed for your already existing notes. Click on the Test Rule button and wait for the report. We have 10 notes from this site already in the notebook, and the program shows that the rule will be executed 10 times. This matches our expectations, so the rule is configured correctly. Now click OK to save the rule and it will appear in the list of rules. Click OK again and confirm the changes. From now on, each time you clip a note from this website, Cita Notes will automatically add blog and productivity. Now let's see how the rule works. Here I go to the blog and clip some text from there. As you can see, a notification appears that our rule has just fired. The note is tagged with blog and productivity. If you want to check what exact changes were made by the rule, go back to the rules menu and click the view log button. Here you can also undo changes by selecting any entry and clicking the undo button below. This log is very useful for situations when your rules are not behaving the way you expect. You can also temporarily disable the rule by opening it and then checking active. When you don't need this rule anymore, you can remove it by selecting it and clicking on the red cross icon. Now let's take a look at a bit more sophisticated example. Rules can auto-tag notes based on certain words appearing in their text. Say you are making a list of movies to watch and want to classify them by genres. Genres often appear in note text and rules can use this to automatically tag movie notes. That's how you do it. Create a new rule, select text, contains and type in action as the trigger word. Type in genre slash action in the text field on the right. Since action is a quite commonly used word and we don't want to accidentally tag wrong notes, it's a good idea to only consider notes from movie related sites. Create another condition and select link starts with. Enter the URL of any movie database, for example IMDb. Now, let's say IMDb is not the only movie site I visit. Let's make this work for the Rotten Tomatoes site as well. Synthonotes allows to specify alternative values for conditions. Click on the plus icon and enter the Rotten Tomatoes URL. Now, each time you clip action movie reviews from IMDb or Rotten Tomatoes, they will be marked as action movie in your movie notebook. 
There you go, as you can see, the node has been properly tagged. Let me show you that it works for Rotten Tomatoes as well. See, worked just as expected. Clearly, we don't want to be limited to action movies only. Let's say we want to auto tag comedies as well. We can't use the same rule for this, because it's already configured to assign the action tag. We need a similar rule that uses comedy instead of action. We could manually recreate the previous rule, but it would be tedious. There is a better way. Duplicate the first rule and make the necessary changes to it. Return to the rules list. Right-click on the rule and choose Duplicate. A copy of the rule immediately appears in the list. Now we'll open it and replace action with comedy. Then we do the same in the tags field. We now save the rule and from now on it will automatically tag comedies from IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes. The same technique can be used to create rules for other genres. Alright, that's it for now. There are many other things you can do with rules. For example, you can automatically archive notes and even emulate saved searches, aka smart tags. So stay tuned for more tutorials.